All right, we're back up. Okay, so when we're doing these kiddos, um, we get a lot of information from the title, okay? So probably, usually, one of our important words will be one of the words from the title, okay? All right, so this is no cell phones allowed. Hmm, it's gonna be about cell phones and about them not being allowed, okay? Um, all right, and we talked about the caption for the little photograph there. We always want to make sure that we pay attention to that kind of stuff, okay? All right, so let's go through this and we'll take it line by line, okay? Students in France must say au revoir to their cell phones. Students and cell phones. All right, students, and then we have cell phones, and then we had cell phones up here, right? Okay. A law went into effect there at the beginning of the school year that banned students in the first through ninth grades from using their phones on school premises. Can law be one? That whole side of Well, for the, so we're on the second sentence. What? Oh, you like law? Yeah. Uh, all right. We can do law. Are you mad that I'm going to say to you? Students? I got four or five that doesn't matter. All right, why are you on your phone, kid? We're going over this. No, I was, I was informing that students was on their cell phones, and she said I would take that. Phone. I know that we're talking about, look, what is the title of the story? It doesn't matter if we're in Paris or we're in Fort Myers. No cell phones allowed in class. Let's finish this, and then Sakira's going to go. Okay, Priscilla. What? You guys can flip a coin and then Rosaya, you you're the after. Okay, let's finish this stuff up, guys. All right, so the second sentence here, what, what are some uh, words that are repeated? Students. Students again. School. Their, their School. Phones. Ah, phones. Their, like, their phones. Miss Mama, she said she needs to go to the clinic, not the bathroom. Need you there. <laughs> Right there, before phones. Okay, there, because we're referring to the students. Very good. School premises? No, not school premises. We have school again. Yeah, just school. Yeah, we don't need premises. It's kind of, kind of is the same, right? Um, all right, then we had no up here, and we have bands here. Does that mean the same thing? Yeah. Yeah? I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to circle it. Okay. High schools can decide whether to adopt the rule for older students. What words are repeated? School. Schools. Students. 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 Do we like anything else? Well, we're talking about a law, and we have a rule. Those would be the same thing, do we think? No. What are laws? Laws like a rule that you have to follow. Yeah, oh, so like I'm going to say that rule in law. I'm going to circle those. Okay. French officials hope it will help students concentrate better and cut down on cyberbullying. What words are repeated? Students. Students. What did you say? Um, I don't know. We can talk about I know. I know. I know. You can make multiple accounts. And then, so something that we have to think about when we're doing this stuff, um, and I was talking to Rosaya about it last class. When we're doing things for the FSA or we're doing things for a test in class, it's not what we think, right? It's what we are reading and what they are trying to tell us from here, okay? So um, sometimes we know in our on our brains, yes, we should just block them, but the article isn't about that, okay? So we need to drill down on what the text is trying to tell us, right? So we and Rosaya had a conversation about theme the other day, um, and the theme that Rosaya came up with was something that we know, right? But we're trying to figure out what the theme with the text was telling us, okay? All right, let's go to the second now. sentence here. Oh, the next sentence. All right, but in the U.S., many schools are doing the opposite. They're getting rid of cell phone bands. Cell what do we like? And, cell phone and bands. Cell like phone. Oh, we got bands again. What else? Get rid of those. Schools. Schools. Um, that's it. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. 
Yo, Priscilla, you going to the restroom? All right. Hang on. We're gonna finish. We're gonna finish oh. this. She said to finish that. Not and then you can go. All right. Uh, the percentage of U.S. schools with bands declined from 91 percent in the 2009-2010 school year to 66 percent in 2015-2016. Schools, bands, schools, and bands. School. School again. All right. Good job, Priscilla. All right. Next sentence. Many school officials say students need to be able to contact their families in an emergency. Right. School. Students. School again. Oh, and their their families, but like their families, family. right there. That's going to refer to students. Okay. All right. Next sentence. So how can you resist the urge to check your phone in class? Phone. Phone. What about class? Mm -hmm. Does that go along with student in school? Facts. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Turn off notifications, says Kelly Mendoza, a digital learner, learning expert at Common Sense Media. That's what I'm going to be when I grow up. I'm going to be a digital learning expert. Mm -hmm. Yes. That don't make sense. What, that I should be a digital learning expert? <laughs> no, to turn off notifications. If the whole point of it is for parents to get in contact, if you turn off your notifications, you can't protect them. Mm, you're right. Mm, yes, but sir. then the notifications aren't a distraction either, though. Right? Because I know with my seniors, they are checking that phone. It is dinging and beeping and flashing <laughs> and fireworks going off, and they can't resist that urge to check it, right? Okay. Uh, so, what do we like in this sentence here? Do we like anything? No. No, I'm good. Um, all right. Last sentence. The apps on your phones are trying to get your attention. Phones. Okay, very good. So if we had to write down the three most important words, words that are repeated, Phones. words that we have circled, what are we talking about here, guys? Phones. Students. Phones. Hang on, hang on. Phones. Students and their phones. And like the cell phone bands. Like we like bands. Yeah. And where is all this taking place? Um, yes. School. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Come on now. Well, yes, well, your, yes, your friends, friends yeah. are doing this behavior. Yes. Like France. Yeah. Oh, in France. Okay. In France. All right. I'm just going to put school over here to the side. All right. So the main idea, central idea. What do we think it is? Let's look at these words. What's the main idea of this passage? Um, schools talk about banning phones from students. They're trying to, oh yeah, and they're trying to get rid of the cell phone bands. But you just picked out main idea. Just that easy, kiddo. Okay? What did you say? All right. All right. So here we ask for the two nouns in the first sentence. What's a noun? Person, place, or thing. I saw three nouns in that first sentence. Who can give me the first one? Students. Students. Give me another. Friends. Friends. Give me another. Cell phones. Okay. What about uh, au revoir? What does that mean? Bye-bye. Um, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. You, yeah, you got it right. All right, put your cell phone away, Hakeem. Is it au revoir? Au revoir. What did I say? Did I say it right? That means bye. Yeah. What? Au revoir. Yeah, y'all learned something else today. Oh, yes, you see All right, so like I said, you guys, so um, the three most important words are going to be main idea. Like he was a wonderful student. You can just ask him for help. Who oh, said that? Kelly. Uh, she loves you, by the way. Oh, bro? Yeah. Oh. She does. Okay. Are you sure? She wrote me up a couple of times. I wasn't gonna lie. Well, did you deserve to be written up? Maybe two. Mm. She wrote me up for skipping it one time. I wasn't skipping her class. But you're skipping class. I wasn't skipping her class that time. I was that time. That time. Right? So we need, sometimes we need to look at the totality of the circumstances, right? She may not have caught me today, but she'll catch me tomorrow. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Somebody want to but so. 
All right, this summarizes it for us. All right, who is the somebody? Friends. Students. <laughs> yes, students. Students in France, right? The French students. Would that be all right, Mateus? All right, we're going to do students. All right, what do the students want? Phones. They want their phones. But what happened? They're trying to ban them. So, sometimes a little difficult for that so, right? They're trying to get rid of them, like schools are trying to get rid of them. No, so they're trying to find a solution, the students. I love that. Yeah, so they're trying to find a solution. Lapita, you nailed it. All right, if we look at our somebody wanted but so in our three most important words, do we have anything in common? Yes. Okay, all right. Are there any questions about three most important words or somebody wanted but so? All right, we are going to be doing a lot of this. Um, we're going to switch over to the upfront magazines and we're going to take large articles and I'm going to teach you guys how to chunk it out into manageable sections so you don't read the whole thing and you guys get to the very end and you're like, what did I just read? Okay, because that happens a lot, all right? So um, this is what we're going to focus on. Three most important words for main idea and then how, to, how we summarize. And like I said, you can use it pretty much for anything, okay? Um. Yes. My castle's in working. All right, that's okay. Castle's been been funny today. Okay. All right. Can I go up to that? Please. My bladder is full.